Guys? Hey, James. Hey, James, have you uh, decided how you're going to work uh, the actual coaching of the quarterbacks? I mean, is Danny going to be the, the lead on that, or yeah. how are you going to work it? Yeah, Danny, Danny will have the quarterbacks. Rob Smith will be on the headsets in the booth. Who is, in terms of play calling on Saturday, have you determined, like you said both guys are involved, but who will actually call the plays on Saturday? Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. Um, we, got, we got two guys that will both be involved with uh, calling the offense. James, how have you seen Drew respond to this practice week thus far? He's been great. Yeah, he's been, he's been really good. The guys thought we had a good practice tonight. Um, I thought the quarterbacks have been good. Drew's been good. James, outside of a win, what type of an experience do you hope the seniors have on Saturday? Yeah, I, obviously I, I hope a great one. I hope it's a great environment. I hope um, the fans show their appreciation for all the hard work that these guys have put in. Uh, representing the university the right way, both both on and off the field. Um, so yeah, I'd, you know, love for them to, you know, get a feel for the sense of appreciation that we have for them. Uh, play well, get a win, uh, all those things include. James, what went into that decision to put Rob Smith on the headset? Just, just our, one of our most experienced guys. You know, he's been a defensive coordinator at Duke. He's been a defensive coordinator. Uh, at Rutgers, he's been a defensive coordinator at Minnesota. Just a very experienced guy um, that we think uh, can bring a lot of value for us. Coach, uh, recruiting question for you. I know with the new portal rules, when a head coach leaves or fire, whatever, the portal opens for that team. Now that a couple head coaches have been fired, how much attention do you pay those players who are now hitting the portal in the middle of the season? Yeah, that, that's where the, the staff, the recruiting staff, kind of handles that. Um, you know, based on the rules that you just explained, uh, we're aware, um, and obviously we're tracking that, and we have the recruiting staff kind of handling that, whether the coaches are focused on normal game plan and normal prep. James, you mentioned uh, maybe being uh, in, in every single meeting with the quarterbacks. Is your week look a little bit different in terms of your offensive uh, involvement or maybe some, some of where you are at certain times of the day? Yeah, it been in the quarterback meetings with Danny. Danny's, Danny's done a great job, um, so I've had more of a presence in there. Um, you know, been more vocal in the in the offensive meetings. Ty and, and Jay Wan have done a done a phenomenal job. It's been very collaborative with everybody uh, in the room, uh, really all week long. I think that's been been a real positive. Um, players have been great as well, um, not only from a game planning perspective, but also getting up in front of the team, and whether it's in a team meeting or, or post practice. Uh, the guys guys have been great. So. Um, I've been I've been very pleased with how they've handled it. How do you think that collaboration will change things for you guys Saturday on, on your offense? Well, well, we'll see. I mean, obviously, um, you know, we'll we'll find out for sure on Saturday. But uh, I've been pleased with the process and and how the coaches have approached it uh, throughout the week and all the voices in the room speaking up and giving opinions and um, you know, you bring an idea up and everybody kind of thoroughly investigates it and checks the film to see if it, it, it makes sense and and then move forward or not. And I think it's been it's been a real healthy dialogue in there and, and uh, we'll we'll see what that equates to on Saturday. But I've I've been pleased with the process. I've been I've been I've felt good about the process and, and the prep. James, focusing on one senior specifically, you've spent the last five years with Keaton Ellis. How has he grown uh, during the time that you spent with him? Yeah, obviously a local guy that we've known for a long time and you know came to camp and his dad actually was working on campus when I first got here in the athletic department. Um, you know, really had a really good senior year in the recruiting process as both a wide receiver and a defensive back. Um, and then was able to come in here with maturity and, and play and he's kind of seen it all. You know, he's had the full experience in terms of COVID, academics, uh, success, adversity, and, and handled it all, you know, with class, and uh, it's been phenomenal. I think you guys have heard me talk about like he's graduated from here multiple times, went to the preschool on campus. There's pictures of him, you know, graduating with the preschool. I always see those kids walking around campus that are all kind of tied up together on a rope. I think I think Keaton was one of those guys. Um, so pretty cool. Are we going to see Trey at all in the next ten days? I'm not sure what you're asking. Trey Wallace? Wallace yeah. Um, yeah, we, we won't see him this week, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure after that.
You mentioned that collaboration. Is that different than how things were earlier this season? I, I think it's been I think it's been more collaborative. I, I think it's been more. Co There's a lot of different ways to do it. Um, some people break up in a separate room so you don't get uh, group think. Uh, you get get different ideas. There's a lot of ways to do it. A lot of people do it different ways. Um, we've done it different, you know, obviously since the change. And I do think it's been it's been really collaborative and been really good discussions and healthy dialogue and you know healthy confrontations, you know, about different ideas and subjects and I think it's it's been good and, and there's been hours put on. You know, we're we're obviously down a man so there's been a lot of hours put in, guys here early and, and stay until late and I think, you know, Jay Wan and Ty have, have just done a really good job. Uh, there's been some adjustments and things that have been made. They've been organized. They've, they've, they've done a really good job. They've done a really good job. James, that's a really young quarterback's room for you. How have those guys handled going through this sort of situation? Yeah, again, I think it goes back to what I tried to say to you guys before. It's not that we're trying to, um, you know, hold information from you guys, but I want to be able to have healthy dialogue and conversations rather than you just read something online and you don't understand and it's shocking and you can't talk it through. Um, that's to me when it becomes problematic or as a leader, you're not, you know, you're not communicative and you don't talk it through and explain and talk to the parents and talk to the high school coach and talk to the trainers and talk to the guys. Um, but, but it's been good. I mean, They've they've handled it well. Um, obviously, it's a it's a tough situation, um, but they've they've handled it well. And and I think also they got a ton of respect for Danny, and and Danny's been with those guys, uh, a lot of them through the recruiting process and and, and afterwards. Uh, so I think that helped. If it would have been, you know, somebody completely new coming into that room that hadn't been with them, I think that that could have been more challenging. James, we saw Caden Saunders play as extensively as he has in his college career this past Saturday. I'm curious what you were able to, to glean from, from his extensive uh, you know, run out there and what you'd like to see from him during the final stretch of his second year on Kansas. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done some nice things. There's been flashes in practice and there's been flashes in some games uh, where he's done, he's done some nice things. Um, you know, again, it's, it's back to consistency. I know you guys get sick of me saying that, but it's back to consistency. And, you know, the other thing is the work that he has done in the weight room, I think has really helped him. Um, you know, but he's still an undersized guy, so getting as strong as he possibly can and be as explosive as he possibly can. Like, I think back to KJ, you know, KJ was undersized, but was was one of our better blockers. He was fiercely competitive and wiry strong. Um, you know, so if you're an undersized guy, you, you gotta, you know, be willing and able to do some of those things. Um, and, and I think he's he's growing in those areas. James, this is year round for 12, 13 games a season, seven at the Beaver Stadium, last one coming up on Saturday. What do you talk to your guys about the opportunity to play in games like this and how special they are? Yeah, just, you know, we get very few opportunities, so to take advantage of, of every single one of them. And then, you know, our, our players talk a lot about when they come here, either as a freshman or a transfer, how good from a cultural standpoint that our vets are with the young guys. And it's not like that every place. Um, our guys do a really good job of that. Uh, so I think there's a you know, pretty consistent sense of appreciation throughout the locker room for those guys and wanting to send them out the right way. Uh, it's an emotional day. It's kind of a weird day since COVID because it's, it's not as black and white as it, it used to be for some guys. Um, but I, I just I think there's a sense of appreciation of sending those guys out the right way um, out of our stadium, our last last game in Beaver Stadium, not our last game overall. Um, but I think there's a there's a sense of appreciation and um, respect for those guys. James, Good morning. your role in the offense the last 10 years has always been sort of ambiguous to certain people that are not in the building. If you're interviewing me for the offensive coordinator job, what are you telling me your role is? throughout the week with the offense, and what are you telling me that your role is on game day? Yeah, I don't think it's been ambiguous. I think Maybe not from you, but I think people interpret failure as it must come back to you, whereas autonomy or other things might feed into that more than what you're doing. Yeah, I, I guess a couple of things. I think, as we all know, 
and it's, it's, it's pretty obvious. I'm ultimately responsible for everything. So I, I get that and take, and take full responsibility. But I've also said on multiple times that I want a head coach of special teams. I want a head coach of offense. I want a head coach of defense. I want a head coach of the tight ends, and I want them to approach it that way. Um, I want them to create a room or a side of the ball that's high production uh, and low maintenance. Um, I'm there to support uh, whenever possible. I'm there to bring perspective uh, whenever possible. But that's I've, I've been very clear um, about how we run it and how I'm not running the defense, I'm not running the offense, I'm not running the special teams. I'm involved in all those things, but I'm also involved in academics. I'm also involved in fundraising. I'm also involved in recruiting. I'm, I'm involved in every aspect of the program. Uh, and when you do it that way and you're not in one area, um, you need. I, I need Andy Frank to run the recruiting department, and I rely on him to do that. Um, I need academics run like that. So I've been, I think I've been very, very clear on that. But I also want to be very clear. I also understand that ultimately I'm responsible for all of it. So if that's been ambiguous in the past, uh, I hope that clears it up. Um, and and that's, that's what you know, I'm looking for moving forward. Uh, and that's what I've stated very clearly in the past. Strength and conditioning. I want Chuck Losey to be the head coach of strength and conditioning and run that. And he has done a phenomenal job. Uh, Manny's done a phenomenal job. Stacy, I've been very impressed and pleased with our improvement from the beginning of the season to now. We've improved dramatically on special teams. Our specials have been more consistent. Uh, am I hands-on with special teams? Yes, but Stacy's the head coach of special teams. So I appreciate the question, and I hope that clarifies any ambiguity, ambiguity that may be out there. Last James, one. James, you've spoken really highly of Danny for you know, since he's been here. What is it about him and his traits that you know, gives you the trust that right now he's ready to step into this role? Well, I, I think first of all, um, you know, he played the position at a high level. Um, he had adversity um, that he had to overcome. Um, he had a chance to play professionally for a number of years. He coached professionally. Um, you know, the fact that he played for me and we kind of see the game in a similar way and he, he understands kind of how we operate culturally. He understands the recruiting process. I recruited him. I went to his home. I, you know, I went to his high school. Um, I know his high school coach very well. I know his parents very well. So there's a trust there personally and there's a trust there professionally. And the other thing with him, which I'm drawn to these type of guys, he loves football. Like he's sending me stuff all the time that he's seen, that he saw, whether it's on social media or an NFL game or another college game. He's constantly studying ball and try and find to find ways the best way to teach things to make it simplistic for the quarterback and for the offense, but still challenging for the defense. Um, and the fact that he's not so far removed, I think he's got a really good rapport and way to connect with our players as well as, as recruits. Um, and he works at it, you know, so I've just, I got a ton of respect for him and, and I'm biased because I've known him for a long time, but I think the staff feels in a similar way. And I know the players, Feel that way. Drew Drew came to see me specifically about him, you know, when this all went down to make sure his feelings were, were crystal clear on Danny. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.